What is going on guys welcome back in today's little video I'm going to show you how you can host Python web apps for free on the internet using a service called Python Anywhere so let us get right into it. All right, so the first thing that we do is we go to pythonanywhere.com and create a new account. And this is done by clicking at the top right here on pricing and sign up. And then you can see the different plans they offer. They have a couple of paid plans down below here and they have a free plan, the beginner plan, which is completely free at the top here. Now it is completely free. You don't have to pay anything, but it has some limitations. Uh, first of all, the domain name is whatever you choose as a username dot python anywhere dot com. So you don't get your own domain, obviously, because domains cost money. So you get a subdomain of python anywhere dot com. And the, probably the biggest limitation is that you have restricted outbound internet access from your apps. This basically means that everyone can access the app, everyone can send requests. Uh, but you as the server, so your web app is not going to be able to send requests wherever it wants. It has a list of websites that are allowed. So it can send requests to certain websites, but you cannot do whatever you want. You can just target specific websites from that list. The list is large, but you cannot target your own services. So for example, implementing a chat where you target the individual clients or using your web app as a web scraping web app that targets some exotic sites, this is not going to work. So you have to limit yourself to the um, specific websites and a couple of other limitations like CPU and Jupyter notebooks are not supported. Um, so we create this beginner account here by clicking on create a beginner account. And then you can choose once the website loads, why does it take so long? Uh, there you go, you choose a username, for example, let's go with neural web app like that. And then the email is going to be I'm going to just pick any email now that doesn't exist neural web app dot or at neural nine dot com doesn't exist, but I'm going to use it here. Um, and I'm going to pick a password. Then we're going to agree to the terms and conditions. And that's it. We are registered. Once we click on register, we don't have to um, to validate the email, we don't have to confirm it or anything. Now you can take this tour if you want to, it's going to show you around the platform, but I'm going to end this here. And here you now have the interface. So this is a dashboard and you can do a couple of things here, you can run a console. So you can just click on bash here. And then you have your bash console and you can script around a little bit if you want to, I think it should have at least VI. I'm not sure if it's going to be Vim but it should have VI at the very least. Yeah, it's actually Vim. So that works. Um, let me just turn off the sound here. Um, but yeah, I'm not a fan of the console here necessarily. What you want to do now is you want to create a web app. And if you have the free plan, you are limited to one web app, which is fine. So essentially, you go here to open web tab, and you click here on add a new web app. So here you can see now, okay, your web apps domain name is uh, neuralwebapp.pythonanywhere.com now because it's the username, obviously. Um, and then we can select um, a Python web framework. So we can go with Django, Web2PY, uh, Flask, Bottle, or we can do it manually with virtual environments. I'm going to go with Flask because we're going to do a simple Hello World web app. The tutorial is not on building a fancy web app, but just on showing you how things work. Uh, and then you can also pick the Python version, let's go with Python 3.9. And then you also specify the path. And that's basically how you set up your web app. This is how you set up your project. Um, and then what happens is you have this, uh, this website, I'm not sure if it's up already. There you go, it is up. So we have this hello from flask here. And all we need to do now to change the code is we need to go to the uh, I think it is source code, right? Is it source code? Yeah, and here you have the flask app py file. And I hope we can somehow Yeah, we can zoom in here. We can also choose vim bindings, which is always great when a website offers vim bindings. And then we can change whatever you want, uh, whatever we want here, right? So we can go and change this here to Hello neural nine community. And then I save this save there you go. Um, and then I get out of here. And you're going to notice now if I go again to web, 
And if I click on the link, or if you visit the link, you're going to see that it still says hello from Flask, even if I reload, so it's not a caching problem, it still says hello from Flask. The reason for that is that we need to reload the website every time we make a change. So we click on this button here, and this reloads the website, basically taking the changes and applying them and rerunning the whole thing. Um, the important thing is that everything here is free and it doesn't, it's not a trial period. You can also have this for a very long time. As they say here, they keep it free, but you need to reload it or you need to click this run until three months from today button every three months at least because they are going to keep it free and you're going to have your web app for free, um, at least for as long as they offer it for free, but you have to, to refresh it all the time so that they don't have any web apps that no one cares about, uh, they basically close them down after three months. So now let us briefly go back to the code and add a new route and a new functionality. And for that, we're going to click again on flask app.py. And here now we're going to add the functionality or the route called slash my IP. And the function is going to be called my underscore IP as well. And the idea is to return the IP of the user that sends the request to your web app. So to show the IP of the user, there are a bunch of services like that out there. Um, and the reason I'm showing you that here is to understand how the ecosystem of Python anywhere works, because the basic idea is your app could be running on any of their servers. And when you send a request to Python anywhere, your request is forwarded throughout the system. So you send it to one server, this server sends it to another server, to another server, and so on. So the final server sees the IP that's requesting whatever you are requesting is not your IP, but the IP of the server that forwarded your request last. Um, so if you want to get your original IP, you have to, uh, to access a field called uh, x forwarded for from the header. And for that, we need to import here from flask import request as well. And we need to say the IP is request dot headers dot get list x dash forwarded dash forwarded dash four. And then we get the first instance. So index zero from that. And we return the IP address. That is that. So I just wanted to show you that this is how you do it because your request is going to be forwarded through the Python Anywhere ecosystem. So we write that and we go back now to the web task, uh, web tab, then we reload the page, we wait for it to happen, and then we can load it again. And if we didn't make any mistakes, this should now, if we go to slash, um, slash my IP. There you go, you can see my IP address, it's hopefully going to be censored. Um, otherwise, it doesn't really matter because it changes anyway. But this is how you do that as well. Um, and yeah, that is how you host your own web app using Flask, Django or whatever you want to use on Python anywhere. And if you go for the paid plans, you can even uh, use this for chats for web scraping for everything that doesn't have limited uh, outbound access. So that's it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed it and I hope you learned something. If so, let me know by hitting a like button and leaving a comment in the comment section down below. And of course, don't forget to subscribe to this channel and hit the notification bell to not miss a single future video for free. Other than that, thank you much for watching. See you in the next video and bye.